Welcome into New York Knicks Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green. In today's show, we got a mailbag coming from a live show we had this week. Make sure you guys are subscribed and have your notifications on so you get alerted anytime we go live. We go live for pretty much every game day. We'll be live Monday, Wednesday, Friday for the Knicks, Celtics, and the rest of the games next week. Pretty much live for the rest of the games this season. So hit that sub button. Sub for Knicks Stubbs. Sub for Knicks Stubbs. First question coming in from my guy Big L with a $10 super chat shot to Big L. He says, this is my Knicks playing Knicks ball. Regardless of the score, I wanted to see what we are made of, and I love the adversity to not quit and play Knicks basketball. This was a team ball win. I, I agree, Big L. I thought Julius Randle was the driving force on Friday against the Washington Wizards. He played really well. I think he finished with 46, tied his career high, kind of led this team, and I, I was proud of him. Brunson struggled throughout the night, but he had a big shot down the stretch to put the Knicks up top. Uh, Barrett had a couple of big shots, but overall didn't play that well. Loved the effort from Emmanuel quickly and Josh Hart as well. Um, I was happy with the way this team played. Started off a little bit slow, but they found a way to put it together and get a dub. And at this point in the season, stacked ups. That's all that really matters. Tamar Bowles with a, fi uh, with, a uh, with a question. He says, I think RJ needs to be unlocked. He shows it sometimes. He just needs some plays called for him. When we were on the eight games, all three of the lefties were getting 20. Look, I, I, I like R.J. Barrett as a player. I understand he's 22 years old, but he's not living up to the money that he's going to be being paid on this contract extension. And I'm just not really sure that uh, he fits what the Knicks need out of a wing. Um, he's, I think in his last 10 games... He's shooting, and I have the stats right here. In R.J. Barrett's last 10 games, he's shooting 40% from the field and 25% from downtown. He has to be better, and I think there's a reason that R.J. Barrett didn't close the game against the... Uh, who did we just play? Who? The Wizards. They lost, just lost, just beat the Wizards, and R.J. Barrett wasn't in the closing lineup. He also wasn't in the closing lineup uh, prior to the NBA All-Star break. So, look... RJ's not going to play well. He's not going to finish games. Josh Hart will. Crim's dad, my man, coming in with a question. He says, will the Knicks be the fourth seed? So I'm going to pull up the standings uh, right now. The Knicks currently reside in the sixth spot, but the Nets just lost. So the Knicks and the Nets now are tied with the same amount of wins for the fifth spot. The fourth seed, I think, will be a little bit much to catch the Cavs. Could be possible, though. But I think they will finish with the fifth seed this season. Um, and then you get a 5-4 matchup against Cleveland. And I'd love to play Cleveland in the, in the playoffs. I mean, that's a team that we can absolutely beat. Let me ask this question before we keep going. What seed will the Knicks end up with this season? Sound off for me down in the comment section below. What seed will the Knicks finish the season with? I'll say five. I think they get up to five. I think they'll be really close to four. I think five. I want to hear from you, though. What seed will the Knicks end up with? Tricky Nicky, my man, he says, if we play Cleveland in the first round and Philly in the second round, can this team go to the Eastern Conference Finals? <sighs> can they? Sure. Will they? I'm not sure. I think you can beat Cleveland in a first-round matchup. I think Garland and Brunson cancel each other out. I think Donovan Mitchell is their better two guard, but I think that Grimes and Hart can do a good job on him. You're not going to slow, you're not going to shut him down. You try to slow him down. At the wing, at the three, it's really a toss up. I mean, right? You got R.J. Barrett, um, and you got some of the young guys over there in Cleveland. At the four, I think they have a better defensive four. But I think we have a better offensive player and really a better player at this point in their careers than Julius Randle. And I think Jared Allen and Mitchell Robinson, it's pretty close. I'd probably give the edge to Allen. But I think that the Knicks might have a better six-man in Emmanuel quickly. And I think that they're just as good off the rest of the bench with Josh Hart and Isaiah Hartenstein. Um, can they beat the Sixers in the series is a totally different question. Embiid and Harden would be a tough guard for the Knicks. But we've seen that the Sixers are not that tough in the playoffs. Mentally weak. Never will I say never, but 
there's a chance. I just don't know how big it is. But I do think they could beat Cleveland in round one. We'll get to more questions coming up in a second. But first, I want to tell you guys about our proud sponsor of today's mailbag. That's Athletic Greens. Shout out to Athletic Greens for hooking up with Knicks Now and especially Chat Sports. Get started today. Go to athleticgreens.com slash chat sports and get hooked up with them. I promise you, you'll thank me later. I take AG1 by Athletic Greens literally every day. Get comprehensive and convenient daily nutrition at athleticgreens.com slash chat sports. I gave AG1 a try because I wanted better gut health and wanted a supplement that actually tastes great. I take AG1 in the morning and it makes me feel ready to take on my day. AG1 empowers the gut for whole body health, which is something that I need. I start the day with making one great choice, AG1, and more healthy decisions than follow. Covering my nutritional base for the day literally couldn't be easier, which is why I trust Athletic Greens. I just mix one small scoop of AG1 with water and drink it first thing each morning. I also love that it costs less than $3 a day. If a comprehensive solution is what you need from your supplement routine, then Athletic Greens is giving you a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs. Go to athleticgreens.com slash chat sports. That's athleticgreens.com slash chat sports. That link is in the comments and description below. Promotes gut health, supports immunity, and boosts energy. The link's right there. It's also in the comments and description below this video. Johnson Yu says, would you take out RJ in the starting lineup and insert Josh Hart? <sighs> I'd say no, because I like the punch that the Knicks have off the bench right now in the super subs between quickly Hart and Hartenstein. Um, and I, and I, no, I would not. And, and, such a tough question. I'd leave R.J. Barrett in the starting lineup, but I want Hart to close games over him. It sucks. And, you know, it's probably not the best team-building strategy that a 26, 27-year-old Josh Hart is getting more clutch time minutes than your 22-year-old third overall pick, but Nick's got to win games. And Josh Hart, I think, gives him a better chance to do that in the closing moments. BK Ray, what up? He says, I like Obi, but he's soft. Would you move him for a player like Isaiah Stewart? I like Isaiah Stewart, but I also like our backup bigs and Hartenstein as well as Jericho Sims, who didn't even play on Friday night. Um, my thing is, Isaiah Stewart is a good bench big, can shoot a little bit uh, from three, can spread the floor a little bit, but I like Obi, and, and I agree, he is soft. I think Obi... This is a hot take. People might get upset with me right here, Roly. I think a trade package the Knicks are going to float around next year is multiple, and this is a summer, excuse me, is R.J. Barrett, Mitchell Robinson, Obi Toppin, and multiple first-round picks to go get that superstar. I believe that's the package the Knicks are going to use, and we'll see. Austin's a long way away. I'm kind of focused on the games at this point and to see if the Knicks can actually make a push and maybe win a playoff series. You want to help the Knicks win a playoff series? Sub for Nick Stubbs. We got nonstop Knicks videos all year long. It's free. We were live for the NBA trade deadline. We'll be live for an NBA uh, free agency. We'll be live for the NBA draft. We're going to continue to be live for almost every single game the rest of the season. Hit that sub button. Help Knicks now get to 20,000 subs. Jay Liv says, what's the best rotation Tibbs can use down the stretch? I think the rotation that they're using right now, they got back to that nine-man rotation tonight. No Jericho Sims, no Miles McBride. The closing lineup I want to see them continue with is Jalen Brunson, Emmanuel Quickly, Josh Hart, Julius Randle, and then either Robinson or Hartenstein at the five. I like for Grimes to get those minutes as well, but I think Hart is just more of a winning basketball player right now, more of a pro, more of a vet, has those big minutes under his belt, so I think that makes sense. But I love Quentin Grimes, no doubt about it. Uh, I know we want to have R.J. Barrett in that lineup, but I theoretically don't think or I, I, do, I do not know. I know. I know and I do not think that R.J. Barrett is the best option down the stretch. You need shooting. And if your lineup is Josh Hart, R.J. Barrett at the two and the three, that's not enough shooting for me. That's why you need a manual quickly who can knock down shots and create his shots off the bounce and not have to get to the rack at all costs. I'm going Brunson, quickly, Hart, Randall, and either Hartenstein or uh, Mitchell Robinson as my center. That, that's my closing lineup. Hitman Mac, my man, what up, Brody? He says, can we all agree that we should sign Mello back to strengthen the bench as well as add veteran leadership? I love Mello. 
my favorite Nick of all time, Carmelo Anthony. Like, I love Melo. Um, I don't think there's a spot for him on this team. Where is he going to play? He's not. And that, that's why I don't think there's a spot for him. Would love to have him. Would love to end his career with the Knicks. It's not any minutes for him. And I don't think Melo wants to be a Theo Penson towel waiver at this point in his career. Big L with the last one. He says, how about points in the paint and steals? Curry Mitchell Robinson has been missed. I thought Mitchell Robinson had an immediate impact on this game. He dominated the offensive glass early. Um, I thought he defended the paint well at a couple of blocks. That's what Mitch Rob's going to bring you. He's going to bring you energy, effort, and execution on the glass and protecting the rim. Wish he had a little bit more of an offensive game, but beggars cannot be choosers. I was proud with how Mitchell Robinson played Friday night against the Washington Wizards. Before we get up out of here, I want to ask this question. How many wins will the Knicks finish with right now? Right now, they're 34 and... The Knicks are 34 and 27. Forty-seven wins. I think the Knicks win 47-48 games. What do you think? Let me know how many Knicks, how many wins will the Knicks have? Appreciate everyone for tuning into today's video. A lot of fun. Mailbag. We'll be live Monday, Wednesday, Friday for the Knicks games next week. Follow us over on Twitter at Marshall Green underscore. We could chop it up over there.